Hi, welcome to Aussie Kicks. On today's show, well, we have something completely different that we've never had on the show. Massive thanks to Mark for dropping off something that uh, I haven't got a clue about. And apparently, he uses one of these. I don't know. Yeah, it's a nitro car, and I have no clue what I'm doing on this one, so you'll have to bear with me. This video, we're just going to go and look at the car that Mark gave me, and I've got some ideas of what I'm going to have to do to it to get it up and running again. Bear with me, this is totally new for me, and I have no idea. Now, this is a Kyosho, it's a Kyosho Inferno TR15 kit 31091. Now, apparently, there was two of these that were produced the kit version, which is this one, and another one, which was 31094, which was like a ready to run yellow and blue version. It looks quite nice. So, they released it in 2000. Mark picked this one up on the 27th of November 2001. How do I know that? Well, in the actual stuff that he gave me is a Motorsport receipt for this car. And he bought it on the 27th of November 2001. And the total price of the kit was £209. Then he had some peripherals like a quick fire 16 one litre bottle, nitro starter pack, which was £59, and a Motorsport £5 discount code, which was a tenner. Not quite sure what that's about. And his total bill was £277.20. I've got quite a lot of this car. It's pretty much complete, apart from the transmitter. I've got the manual, which is really going to help me out because I haven't got a clue how I'm going to get this working. The car-wise, it's actually looking okay. I did have a quick look to see whether I could get a new body for it, and that's my first hurdle, as it's missing a few bits and pieces, and it would be nice to paint up a new body and get it all freshened up. Now, I don't plan on making this a shelf queen. It, I will actually try and run it, but it'd be nice to sort of lift it and bring it back a bit. So if I can get a new rear wing and a new body. I had a look on Team Blue Groove, but they don't do this body. Also, I had a look around and there didn't seem to be any available. I will guess I'll just have to try and wait for one to turn up on eBay. One did sell not that long ago, so maybe that some might turn up at some point. There is a few different versions uh, of like future versions of this that might work. But I quite like this one as it's quite a plain one, where some of the more later Inferno seem to be a bit more sort of finickety and messy, which I don't really like as much. And I'm not sure whether they'll actually go on this or not. But if I can't find one, then maybe I'll have to go to a slightly different model to get it to fit. Now, it wasn't just the car, which we'll look at in a minute. He also gave me a few starters, but apparently the batteries in these are knackered. So whether I'll actually be able to get just the battery for this, apparently it's a, a Nike had 2,500 milliamp 1.2 volts so whether I can just get a new battery put that in and this will work I mean I'm not going to run it very often so I don't really want to spend an absolute fortune getting one of these unless I can pick one up and they're, they're cheap I honestly haven't even looked yet I've got some nitro fuel which I've had for a while I basically got this so I was going to clean paint off of polycarbonate bodies but I'm guessing this is going to work we'll have to see I will do a bit more research before I blow it up the mm, this <laughs> this car is now 22 years old now the motor that came in this kit was gs 15r which apparently is supposed to be a pretty decent engine also what came with it is a few decals that were left over from the original build and he's got some spare parts that he's also given me so i quite like the body it's quite a simple clean one it'd just be nice to be able to paint up another one but if i can't find one i might be able to do something with this one uh just blow it back in again to actually get rid of some of the marks. I know that if I did that, it would look a lot better. Take the decals off and maybe put some new decals on it. Something like that, if I can't replace the actual body. Then we have the car itself. It is complete. I opened up the receiver box in here and there is a correct receiver. The servos in it apparently work. There's a battery 
mount as well so i'll put some batteries in it and fire it up and see if the electronics will work did have an aftermarket k &N filter on there so i might try and figure out how to do a, a decent join to that as it looks like it's just pushed in so it needs like an internal tube to actually grip it so a little bit of a metal tubing maybe to fix that to get that back on it the compression on it, it does actually sound all right from as much as I know. The pull tie is kind of broken, but it still sounds pretty good from a compression. Uh, that's about as much as I know about it. The suspension probably needs slightly thicker oil in it, so we'll give the shocks a service. The wheels and tires that are on it are the ones that come with it, and they're in great shape, so I'll keep those. When I run it, I won't put these on it, as uh, these are, I want to keep these in good condition. There's a few little screws missing from the bottom that needs a bit of work, but all in all, it doesn't need masses of work to get it running. Well, I hope anyway. So I need to pick up a fuel bottle. He gave me one, but it's looking like it's had better days. So I'll pick up a new fuel bottle. Glow plugs. There is two glow plugs, A3 glow plugs, apparently. I don't know if that's a standard or what, but I'll pick up a new glow plug. I'm not sure if I have to mix anything with this. I'll have to read the instructions, whether I have to put any oil in this or what. I honestly have no idea. As for tuning it, well, I'll just have to look around and get some uh, guides to see if I can actually tune it once I run it. All the pipe work seems to be okay. It doesn't seem to be worn or aged. So all in all, it's in pretty good condition. The diffs all feel really nice. Obviously there's no difference between those. That's pretty much all I can really tell you about this. So if you've got any parts for this, especially the body set, um, I'm going to need to maybe improve the pull tie, but I'm guessing I can probably just buy another pull tie string with a T on the top of it and change that out. That shouldn't be just for this car. That should be pretty much straightforward. And we'll just have to see how it goes. I've got a transmitter that will run on this, so there's no problems on that. But I think we can bring it back and make it look pretty decent and also totally different for me so uh, yeah but it won't be back on the show instantly this one will be one I'll play around with in the background until I get a little bit further and then as I'm playing with it I will film it so eventually I'll do a full video once I get it running and I kind of understand what I'm doing but I just wanted to give you a quick show to <laughs> Hmm, yeah, a whole new one for me, this one, and uh, we'll just have to see how I get on. But I think I'm going to upset a few of the neighbours, that's for sure. Anyway, thanks very much. Massive shout out to Mark for uh, leading me down another path in RC. Hmm. We'll see how this goes. Thanks very much. See you on the next one. Bye bye.